stunning up here. I know it's cold, but it's gorgeous. And this place has history. You know, you look at Sabian and you think massive corporation, probably very corporate heavy, lots of machines doing things that people used to do. That's the perception of just big business, right? You know, huge global symbol company. But I don't know that everybody really understands that this company is making things by hand. But I just thought, man, I would love to tell the story, as much of it as we can, of Sabian through our perspective, through our lens. We look at this company and it's an aspirational destination for us. We do our own melting of copper and tin, so we have our own foundry. We melt the copper and tin, and then we pour it into casting forms. From there, we'll put them into the oven. When they get that nice, really orange glow, and they're a little malleable to still form, we take them out and we put them through rollers. So you've got the pressure, the water, and you've got the heat, a steam explosion. They don't explode. That's part of the family process. The other part, if you complete the family process, which there's only two companies in the world that do, if you complete the family process, what you end up with is not only you don't kill the workers, but you also end up with a symbol that allows the energy to travel around, but also in and out. So when you have a cast symbol, something that has that, it's alive, it's, it's got the energy in it, every time you strike that, you're gonna get a different sound that comes out of it because your energy going in is what's coming back out. Same thing with the craftsmanship. When the craftsmen are hitting it, they're putting in an energy, they're injecting it into the symbol. And because we handcraft everything, we have the flexibility and, and that's what I do. I mean, I'm in the vault and I'll, you know, I have an idea and I'll get a blank and I'll take it. I know Charlie hammers a certain way and Dwight's a little different. Every symbol has an individual speed and flow. Just like the drummer's artistic voice, it's the symbol's artistic voice. And when that comes together and you've got the right one, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> It's, it's the craftsmanship that's brought us from Bob Zildjian's dream to start a company to where we are today. Yeah, and then hearing, you know, hearing Andy talk about just the whole story of getting here and, and the people that came from Istanbul to <laughs> show these old ways of doing things. I mean, old world craftsmanship, that's, we talk about that all the time at a &F. The way that they used to lathe over in, in Turkey was they had a machine that was really, it was like a little donkey engine. It was almost like doing it by a, a foot sewing machine. And it was never really perfect. So anyway, Carapy came over and he was pretty surprised by finding the machinery that we had that could assist in that, but still by hand. Because when you're working with our metal, you've got a piece of metal that's not perfect. You've got some parts that are hard and some parts that are soft. It's feeling it. You can feel the metal move and taking the right amount off in the right spots. And we can alter, the person can change what they're doing to make it more consistent. Where if a machine does it, it re repeats everything identically. But you're working on an imperfect object, so it doesn't know. So what it was, was melding the two cultures, really. of the West and the original artisan sound and, and abilities, but then on a different scale too. That's one of the good things about being here in Canada, is not only we have people who are really good craftsmen, but that work ethic, it also goes along with, with they feel a part of a family. There's a family value component that's, that's rooted at the core of this company. I started in 1980, so I'm going on 39 years here. And you know, it's been a great journey. Uh, I started out, I didn't know anything about cymbals. I wasn't a drummer, 
I just came looking for work. You know, I had a chance when things were a little slower to pick up a drumstick, and I started playing around and, and being around everybody else testing cymbals. I picked it up quickly. You know, Mark Love is this sonic guru who claims he's not a drummer, but he's innovative and very intuitive. But the thing I love the most is how his team responds to him. It, it just, it, that is the deepest level of trust I've ever seen in a work environment. Which, which again affirms like, it's really not a work environment, it's a family of people on a same you know, mission and, and they've got a clear vision and they're working together. So you get to work with your friends, it's pretty amazing. You've taken the time to teach people all these things and they can teach them on the way down, but they keep learning, everybody keeps learning. On so many levels, it was just encouraging. Because as a small company, we are growing fast and it's exciting, but also difficult. And so I start to question, like, can we still do what we do with the integrity that we do it and grow? Is this feasible? Can this be a 100-year plan? And to hear Mark talk about Sabian, who's, you know, four decades in, still doing it the way they started, you know? was just a breath of fresh air and exciting that it can be done. Quite simply because a &F, you, your family, the way that you treat people, the craftsmanship that you put into it, the, the philosophy that this is a living instrument, that we are not just producing a product, we're making something, a voice for the artists, the people. That not only is the philosophy that we started with, but all these 37 years later, it's still the philosophy that we live by. So um, it's really encouraging to see a company to grow up and come along like in the same way that we did. Because we're still a family business as well, nice and small, but at the same time, global. So we have the small business philosophy in that we want to do things by hand. We don't want to automate. We don't want to just scale up and, and produce products. That's not how you make an instrument. You have to make something that has a personality, a life, and an energy in it. So you can't get here <laughs> and go through learning the story about a company and seeing all the parallels and the direction and the destination of where you want to be as a small company. You can't do all those things and not be inspired to create something together. Can't wait to show you this stuff. Uh, and it's coming, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, this isn't about the best instruments, drums, cymbals, or what have you. It's about small businesses who pride themselves on family values. And when you see a small business that has done so for four decades, despite the size of their growth, then it's important to celebrate it and learn from it and let it inspire all of us who are just getting started.